This secret could 100% ruin my life, like jail time ruin. Today I am revealing your revenge secrets, and I'm nervous about whatever we're about to encounter, so let's just rip the band-aid off. When I was 14, my little sister took my iPod and accidentally broke it. I was super pissed off and wanted revenge, so I put a bag of weed in her backpack. How did you get a bag of weed at 14 years old? That way my mom would find it and ground her, but she ended up wearing the backpack to school and drug dogs found it and she got suspended and my mom sent her to rehab. My sister had never even done drugs before, but obviously my mom didn't believe her since the school found weed in her backpack. When she went to rehab, she ended up getting weed slash coke slash pills from the other teens there and now she's still a drug addict to this day, nine years later. I literally gave my 11 year old sister a lifetime drug addiction because she broke my iPod. Sorry, this is crazy. <laughs> no one knows to this day that I was the one who put the weed in her backpack and I think about it every day and it makes me feel terrible because it's all my fault. No, it literally is all your fault. I don't even have anything to make you feel better because there's nothing to say. I mean, I guess support her as best you can emotionally, maybe even financially if you're able. Jesus, sorry. I don't mean to make you feel worse, but this I would be heavily guilted as well if this I was for, and for an iPod. Was it at least an iPod touch? Growing up, I was forced to go to church every Sunday with my mom, who is extremely conservative Christian. As a teenager, I really didn't want to go, and I've been traumatized by the religion and was overall pissed off at the church. Not Christians in general, but this specific church, they were v-homophobic, etc, etc. If you're homophobic, you're probably gay. But anyways, she would force me to go, literally had to drag me into the car several times. And several times during the service, I would leave to go to the bathroom and masturbate, watching light gay porn using the church's Wi-Fi. It got to the point where I would dare myself to do it in different places around the church. One time I did it in a broom closet that was right on the other side of where the pews were. Yeah, it's disrespectful, but they traumatized me. So maybe it was my a weird sick way of getting revenge? I don't know, but thank God I never got caught. Sometimes I forget how fucking weird I was as a teen girl. I'm 22 now, so my mom can't force me to go to church anymore. You were just trying to pass the time. You were probably bored in there, and the number one thing that you ever feel compelled to do usually is the thing that you're not supposed to do. So if you're sitting there with all the homophobes, yeah, that makes sense. Like, I would have done, I think I would have done the same thing. In a parallel universe where I was raised conservative Christian, I would have done the same shit. And that's probably why you're a dubscriber, right? We're on the, we're on the same wavelength. Um, yeah. <laughs> Did I say too much? Or not enough? I am a hairdresser and I've always been afraid of messing up customers' hair because I know how bad it feels when your hair is not at its best. But there was this one time where an old high school classmate came in. I was extremely nervous that he would recognize me, but he didn't. The thing about this particular classmate is that he used to bully my best friend and because of this, I hated him with a fire passion. He really made my friend's high school experience a living hell. So when it was my duty to cut his hair, I took it upon my hands to get revenge, and let me tell you, it is real sweet. I absolutely ignored their instructions, cutting shorter than what they asked for, putting the water too hot. I even got to bleach their hair and purposely left the product for longer so it would damage the hair. I got no tip and a one-star rating in Yelp. No regrets. There's something very endearing about this secret because you weren't getting revenge for your own misery. You were getting revenge to seek justice for a friend. And for that reason, I like it. If there was like the top five occupations you don't want to be seeking revenge when you're interacting with them, I would say hairdresser is very much up there. Then maybe um, firefighter. Firefighter would be first, to be clear. Uh, one time this teacher gave me a bad grade and I was like, so not getting a bad grade. Seems like you did get a bad, like you you weren't so not get, cause you did. So the next day for my revenge, also like revenge, you got the grade. Unless it was sort of like a subjective grading scenario. I, 
So the next day for my revenge, I took one item off the desk. I did this for about a month. I stole one item off her desk every day before she came into class. It was pure genius! Because after about a week, she started noticing and buying more stuff. To this day, I have like 54 of her items. This would be fun in games if teachers were not overworked and underpaid. I hump my friend's pillow that I give to her to sleep on when she comes over. It's partially revenge and partially sexual. I know she's talk shit about me and I also get turned on knowing her face is all up in my dry puss gruel. No, no, dry puss gruel. A new item on our menu. Dry puss gruel. I'm gonna be haunted by those three words for the rest of the day. Just eating my meal. Dry puss gruel. Going to bed. Dry puss gruel. Walking down the stairs. Dry puss gruel. Petting the cat. Dry puss gruel. Lighting a candle. Dry puss gruel. Drinking some water. Dry puss gruel. Turning the TV on. Dry puss gruel. Texting my uncle. Dry puss gruel. I don't text my uncle. But still. Dry puss roll! Never say that to me again. There are people in my life that I want to get some kind of revenge on. So there are small things I enjoy doing to scare them, freak them out, or confuse them for my own entertainment. I'll send the occasional anonymous message. My favorite thing to do is sign them up for the Scientology email subscription. It's so rewarding to me because Scientology is so freaking weird that once you show interest, they will never leave you alone. So yeah, most recently I've signed my horrible ex-boyfriend up for the American Girl Doll magazine subscription. The funny part is, his parents will probably think he ordered it for porn purposes. <laughs> Ew. I'm sorry, but what? How would his parents look at the American Girl Doll magazine and then think that he bought it for porn purposes? Ugh. But also it does make sense because it's like why else would he get it? If it doesn't make sense in terms of who he is, your brain immediately goes to okay Well, there's some freaky shit happening. Oh, I hate that. I really like I hate it so much. I just might I just might all my life I've never liked playing any sports or doing anything that is too masculine So I would and told I was gay at school Especially by this guy that I'm going to call Mario. I'm bisexual. So in high school I had him for biology in which we had to dissect a pig and ugh, oh my god We had to dissect a pig in school, too oh, That needs to be taken off absolutely every curriculum. I do, it's and a cat we had to do a cat. <gasps> I hated that. Sorry, just I had I just had flashbacks to the smell. If you know, you know. And he put in my group by the teacher. Since we had to do a whole lab report for the class, we shared each other's social media and I received a text from him asking if I wanted to fuck. I accepted and made him be the bottom and even made him cry because it hurt. It felt so good getting revenge in some way after being bullied about my sexuality for so long. Obviously the kid who bullied you about your sexuality is gay. And a one, two, a one, two, three, four. If you're homophobic, you're probably gay You say that it's disgusting But really you just want some Pussy Or some But play If you're homophobic You're probably just gay <laughs> I'm, I'm not a musician. Um, you, you're like, I know. Anyway, I've, I've sung that song so many times. It's an original in case you're new here. So I thought I would just try something new there. Was it good? Was it bad? You want an encore? No? Okay. A few years back around New Year's, my cousins came over and we were mad at my brother for choosing him, his video games over us. So for revenge, we left a bunch of his stuff in his drawer when he was in the bathroom. We never told him, but it felt so good knowing we had that power over him. <laughs> Do you realize that nothing you did is going to change the trajectory of his life? He won't know that you licked it. It's really not that gross. You, you harmed yourself more than him because you subjected 
both of you subjected yourselves to licking some snotty little teenage boy's gross stuff. How did you not see that that... I don't, unless you liked, I don't. So my sister and I like to share clothes. One day she was wearing my favorite hoodie and decided to get fucked while wearing it. How do you know that? And got nut all over it. Oh, oh, the way you guys are speaking in this video is making me ill. Got nut all over it. Like, why, bro? Me to you for using that verbiage. So that was a few months ago, and now I have a boyfriend as revenge. Whenever we would have sex in my car, which my sister spends a lot of time in, we would wipe any leftover juices. I know that's a really nasty way to put it, but whatever the whole situation is gross. You've already, like, you, you already said something. Why didn't you say that about the nut? Okay. All over the blanket that she kept in my car, revenge tastes good. I don't think it tastes good. In fact, I think whatever I just nibbled on was pretty disgusting. I just watched her sharing teacher secrets video and it reminded me of this. I had the biggest crush on my music teacher. Like I used to make up senators of me and him going into the stairwells at lunch and fucking. So a couple months has passed and I found out that my French teacher started dating my music teacher. Obviously I got really jealous so I started thinking of plans for revenge. So I was walking past music class and seeing that my French teacher was in his class. So I decided to go to my French teacher's class to see what I could do. I went in and seen she left her computer on, so I read her emails and stuff. Nothing, literally nothing exciting, and had a great idea. She always has her slideshows ready for her next class, so I went on Google and got a random photo of a pussy and put it in the slideshow and left. Not even 24 hours later, there were rumors that she was selling her pussy pics and that her and the music teacher were sexting and she accidentally put it in her slideshow. I seen her in her car crying at lunch and felt horrible, so I went over to comfort her. It's been two years and she is my favorite teacher and I am her favorite student, but she didn't know I was the one who done it. This is literally one of the biggest regrets of my life. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's a fun secret. I mean, it wasn't fun for the teacher who, but it, in like a very far removed person hearing the story, that's a fun secret. For anyone involved, not as fun. Not as fun. Probably very fun for the students who got to see a pussy in French class. I don't know. That just, that would, that would be a really fun week for me, I'd imagine. I don't really have much to say. Seems like you re you regret your actions. We know they weren't good. Seems like everything's fine. Your teacher's still working. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. A bunch of pubescent teens got to see a pussy in class. That's all that matters. All right, so my sister and I used to fight non-stop. It would be over the littlest of things, like I ate her food or she took a shirt of mine, etc. But one day my sister literally killed my hamster because I added her boyfriend on Snapchat. I was obviously distraught seeing as though that hamster was my best friend and was also a support animal for me. I was so angry with her that I thought of revenge for four months. Finally, I thought of the perfect idea. Yay! I took all of her clothes except the ugliest shit, Halloween costumes, school uniforms, etc., and burned them. Destroyed all of her makeup and slept with her boyfriend. R.I.P. Mr. G and fuck you, Ashley. <laughs> Jesus. This is excessively toxic. Like, so toxic, I feel like I need to fumigate the area. My body, the computer, I need to find you. I need to sage everything you've ever come in contact with. You and your sister, Jesus! What the fuck? This is fucked up. There is a girl that I really hated me. I also hated her so much, like Mars to Earth, like hated in my veins. She bullied me for 10 goddamn years. I recently turned 14. Can four year olds even bully? Like I feel like I couldn't even walk, let alone decide that I didn't like someone and then hurt their feelings at four years old. Then one day in school, she forgot to tell the school cafeteria lady that she had a nut allergy. So in front of the whole school, she had a nut allergy. We carried her to the school clinic and they gave her an EpiPen. Why are you yelling that one at me? And she survived three more nut allergies, not for long. Then one day she pushed me out of nowhere and because of the pushed my hit, the basketball pole in my head had a five inch slash 
As an act of revenge, I put a buttload of grounded nuts in her drink. It was mango shake, so it wasn't noticeable. She died two days later of severe allergic reaction. Basically, her throat closed. Well, at least I got my revenge. Love your veins, by the way, and love you. And for Sally Mae, fuck you, you deserved it. Sally May, very specific name. Feel like you maybe just gave more information than you should have. Is there a Sally May who died from a nut allergy around the age of 14? If yes, Congratulations, I think you just opened your own case up. Sometimes you guys submit stuff to me and I debate not keeping it in my videos because I want to protect you, but oh, I don't want to protect. Karma, this secret could 100% ruin my life, like jail time ruin. So yay, that's fun. Anyway, I live in a small secluded village in the UK and the people here suck major ads. The person who takes the crown for king of Saki here, however, is the pedophile across the road whose front room faces my bedroom window. Without going into too many details, he got busted with a metric tone of child and he was selling up skirts and creep shots of me and my friends that he had taken when we were little to people on the dark web. He also assaulted a friend of mine but was never punished for that particular crime. He did about eight months of time in prison and then got to return to his house near the primary school like nothing happened. I could literally see him watching the little kids walk home from his living room window. Anyways, I basically decided that if no one was going to do anything, I was gonna take it into my own hands. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. I stalked him for about two months finding out his daily routine and following him around. He had this usual walk in the local forest and I followed him down. It It's super secluded and off away from any sort of civilization. I came up from behind him, put a knife to his throat and told him that if he didn't leave I would kill him and make sure no one would ever find his body. To prove I wasn't bullshitting, I hit him over the head with the butt of my knife and used the length of rope I had to bind his arms. I cut two and a half of his toes off and index finger from about the second knuckle. And the rest of his finger slash toes had the nails removed. He never told anyone and he moved out of the house. I have an empathy issue, potentially psychopathy. I've never done much research, but a strong sense of justice. So I feel zero remorse for this. I added the bones to my collection of foraged deer and rabbit skulls, super into vulture culture, collecting skulls and bones I find. If the opportunity arose, I could see myself enacting revenge like this again. If someone is not being held accountable for their actions and they are dangerous to society, is it okay to hurt them? I'm having trouble deciding how I feel about this. I mean, first off, I don't think it's real. Part of me doesn't believe it's real, but this, the specifics were so specific, so I don't know. And if it is real, um, then I'm a little impressed. You're just fighting evil. I mean, is it okay to be evil if you're fighting evil? Can you guys let me know what you think down below? Some of you tell me that I've been corrupted by the series. So sometimes when I form my own opinion about these things, I question whether that is colored by a layer of insanity from years of reading your secrets. So you let me know, okay? You. Sandy, Derek, Lauren, Lisa, Kyle, James, Tartar. Who the fuck's name is Tartar? <laughs> Honestly, my future child. Tartar, that's so cute. Like tartar sauce. I don't know what I'm talking about, but all of you, especially if those are your names, leave a comment down below and let me know. Is it okay to commit crime if the victim of your crime is a danger to society? Let me know. Whenever a customer is rude or just gives a bad vibe, I've got this tiny petty revenge of saying have a nice day instead of have a great day. Oh wait. I don't know why. I, I, was so, I just decided to show you my tits. I thought my shirt said have a great day, but it says 
Thank you. Enjoy. Anyways, I know it's not a lot and they don't know it's a tiny revenge, but I do and that's enough. You single-handedly just healed me with your kind, kind heart and I hope hearing that secret heals everybody else whose secret I read in this video. This is what we all need to be on about. You know what I mean? The fucking siblings, significant others, the killing people. Just tell someone to have a nice day and leave it at that. So last summer I broke up with my boyfriend and for revenge, I replaced his shampoo with hair loss lotion. Now he has no hair and also hasn't dated anyone in a year. Why did you need to get revenge on him when you broke up with him? Did you really need to double whammy? The boy was probably heartbroken. He didn't need to be bald at the end of it too. Sometimes I think the stuff that you all submit is is too good. Like, the idea of causing an ex to lose their hair is evil, but really effective. <laughs> so it's like, I don't want to give anyone ideas, but it's like a really good, it's a really good bad idea. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't want your ex getting around, I, not, okay, I don't, I don't mean to be like bald, Bald phobic? I don't, what do you call it? Like, I don't. It, um, I actually think I'm gonna do myself a favor and shut the fuck up. <laughs> my ex boyfriend from my old high school admitted to me that he was only dating me so I can do his homework. Asshole didn't know I had all of his assignments in my other trap phone, so for my revenge, I deleted all of the assignments he needed in order to graduate and to be able to attend his own graduation ceremony. Oops. I later found out he didn't graduate and he's now what people call the seniors that didn't graduate on time. Super senior. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Hashtag he was an asshole. Oh man. That was rightfully deserved revenge, in my opinion. I I guess sometimes revenge is justified. Okay, I need a, what is that called that they use in court to, a gavel. I need a gavel. Anyway, if I had a gavel, I would be gaveling to let you know that that, that was fine by me. Warning, fucked up story ahead. Only girls will understand how horrible this story is. In my second year of middle school, there was this boy I hated. One day the boy ported paint all over me in art class. I was super pissed, so I decided to get my revenge. It was lunch when I was in the bathroom. I pulled out my tampon from my vagina. It was completely full. You go girl, fill her up. <laughs> I wrapped it in a costume plastic wrapper I made. I said it was a dissolving candy and that you're supposed to pull off the string and eat it. I then put it in his locker, it was Valentine's Day, with an anonymous love letter. When he opened the locker and saw it, he immediately ate the candy. The look of horror on his face was priceless, lol. He threw up everywhere and it was hilarious. To this day, no one knows about it. <laughs> that is so gross. And there is a boy that I wish I had done this to in middle school. So gross, but inspirational. <laughs> Disturbing, but iconic. Keep filling them up, honey. My dad cheated on my mom when I was younger and got married to an A-grade bitch. And I honestly would secretly get happy when they would get into an argument. Even one time I got the flu and I would spit on her pillow and cough on it and a few days later she got the flu but also strep throat. They aren't married anymore but I don't regret the revenge I would get at her before. By the way, I like your video. <laughs> Everybody else tells me they love my videos. So I see, I read that and I'm like, you like my, you like them? You might as well just fucking leave, okay? If it's a, not a hell yes, then it's a no. So just go fucking watch somebody else, I guess. Are you doing the thing that the girl did when she said to have a nice day instead of a great day? Like, God, what the fuck? I think I have to go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay, I gotta go.